Hello everyone and welcome back with another amazing opportunity. So let's get started. So in this video we will talk about the Griffith University Research Scholarship 2022 in Australia. So before starting our video please subscribe our Bright Scholarship channel and click the bell icon to get latest updates of our channel. So following are the table of contents which we will discuss in this video. Griffith University Scholarship Research Scholarship 2022 for international uh, international students. Griffith University was founded in 1971, located in southeast Queensland, Australia. It is a public research university with more than 50,000 students enrolled. Griffith University offers bachelor's research and postgraduate degrees in these academic fields, visual and creative arts, science and aviation, humanities and languages, engineering and uh, information technology, planning and ar uh, architect architecture, business and government, uh, criminology and law, education, environment, health and music. Applicants are invited to apply for Griffith University Research Scholarship 2022 in Australia. All international students from all over the world are eligible to apply for this scholarship. Griffith University International Scholarship are available to pursue master degree or PhD degree in Australia. So let's discuss about the details of Griffith University Research Scholarship. So this scholarship is for master's and PhD degree level. Uh, this scholarship covers health and tuition fee. All the international students can apply for this scholarship and is available in Australia. The last date to apply for this scholarship is 11th July 2022. So following are the financial benefits. Griffith University Research Scholarship 2022 in Australia for international students from every part of the world to study in master's or PhD degree at the university will provide the complete tuition fee for whole degree and cover the health also foreign dependent. For master's, uh, for master's degree, scholarship duration is two years and for doctoral degree, scholarship duration is three years. So following are the table of, uh, following are the available study fields. Uh, for this scholarship. So let's discuss about the eligibility criteria. So um, uh, student must be a uh, not be a domestic student as defined as being student uh, who is an Australian citizen or an Australian permanent resident or holder of an Australian permanent human, uh, humanitarian visa or a New Zealand uh, New Zealand citizen or international student. Uh, so uh, let's discuss about the application deadline. As I have said before, the last day to apply for the scholarship is 11th July 2022. So let's discuss about the uh, official uh, applying procedure. First of all, we will check official link. By clicking on the official link, we will move towards this page. These are some details for this research international research university program. And uh, now come back towards the applying procedure. By clicking on apply now button, we will move towards this page. Then we have to click on apply online. Okay, so if you are uh, registered, then you have to log in. And if you are not registered, then you have to register yourself by clicking on sign up button. Okay, as I am registered, I will log in. Okay. 
ओके लॉग इन Now before you start COVID-19 update please refer to our dedicated frequently asked questions okay now click on a start a new application button so next part is personal details so title is let's suppose miss name post name and uh, preferred first name gender is female and uh, date of birth is 2000 and uh, october 23 okay now um, your email address uh, has help us identify you have you ever applied for a program or been a student or staff member at griffith university no now click on next okay now your phone number information next now your uh, add, add and edit your address edit address one and uh, state is punjab postal code is okay accept okay uh, same as home address for mailing same as home address now click on next uh where you, were you born pakistan if you are living in australia please indicate the years in which you first arrived are you of australian abroad uh, aboriginal or torres strait uh islander um descent okay let's suppose of australian aboriginal origin okay are you an australian citizen other citizen of pakistan are you intending to study in australia let's suppose yes residency temporary or entry visa student visa language and english language english proficiency is english your first language no have you ever taken a uh, english proficiency test in the last two years now next disability uh, disability store uh, support do you need uh, disability support no now next uh have you ever had a visa application rejected no next over a student please advise the type of cover you will require singer cover for yourself only dual cover for yourself and one dependent multi family cover for yourself and more than one dependent single okay now next your visa application history details has been save okay so uh, so next one is degrees uh, program preferences let's suppose uh, masters of science next uh, what is your proposed research topic title let's suppose okay does your proposed research project uh incorporate work that has previously ha been submitted to the uh, for the award no and do you wish to apply for approval to conduct your research in dedicate of aveda from the university yes now next okay now supervisor uh, what is the name of principal super supervisor you wish to nominate let's suppose taylor adam Uh, my supervisor isn't listed okay primary element school of pharmacy and medical sciences uh, have has this supervisor agreed to supervise you 
let's suppose yes uh, nominate another supervisor no now next ethics confidential material and intellectual property does your proposed research involve human subjects let's suppose no involve animal subjects no working with biological and genetical material let's suppose yes what is the nature of material involved okay now next one is confidential or intellectual property confidential do you anticipate or your thesis will include let's suppose yes is your research likely to generate any yes have you already entered into your into an agreement whereby you have assigned let's suppose yes okay now next okay uh, to save changes to save changes to program preferences proposed uh, research let's suppose no go back and save now next press save and next in each section save okay please select at least one program preferences campus let's suppose northern campus and commercing trimester 2 full time no uh, okay full time academic area or schools let's suppose applied mathematics now accept okay now next uh, program preferences okay please select at least one program preference Okay, next. Now the uh, step three. Okay, so next one is uh, tertiary education and other study. Let's suppose add education institution is Kadhi Azam University academic level is uh, let's suppose graduate certificate number of award of the program let's suppose field of study let's suppose chemistry okay status completed Uh, started study discontinued and uh, started study in progress and uh, let's suppose completed date attended january 2014 to 2017 okay 18 accept now save and next okay previous uh, research study previous research higher study degree program have you commenced but not completed no uh, do you wish to apply for any recognition of work yes okay the next one is thesis or uh, do you hold or are you completed a degree that has a substance substantive research component yes or no okay if your application is assessed as a not meeting the qualification requirement for admission to a higher degree research program do you wish to be considered for admission to a graduate yes now next academic preferences uh, sorry academic references please provide details of two refers Uh, so refer one 
organization is uh, let's suppose university position let's suppose professor and uh, email of your refer okay accept please uh, you must enter two refers okay so next one next refer is organization university and phone number sorry position let's suppose professor okay email okay now accept now click on next okay now the next step is uh, financial arrangements do you wish to apply for a higher degree by research scholarship yes drift university postgraduate and scholarship awarded past or present if your application for scholarship is successful will you be in receipt of any other award no have you previously held an award no do you intend to meet cost of studying no and uh, if you are unsuccessful in obtaining do you wish to consider for enrollment uh, self financed no okay next one next one is uh, sponsor information do you intend to meet the cost of studying no next okay so next is supporting documents first one is a uh, uh, passport or citizenship document let's suppose we are uploading this file open so the file has been uploaded now okay uh, so next one is evidence of satisfying english language proficiency test okay let's suppose i am uploading this file open okay now this is also uploaded now the next one is evidence of supervision okay uh, remote candid uh, candidature statement let's suppose i am uploading this file okay so next one is research proposal now next one is official academic transcript next one is cv okay now next your attachment details has been saved okay now the next step is declaration so international student recruitment agent are you applying through our official grift recruitment uh, let's suppose yes uh organization located in let's suppose pakistan name of organization let's suppose hr consultants please sub, uh, supply the name of your content uh, contact email address of your contact okay now next Uh, have you ever been excluded on academic or other grounds from any tertiary institution no 
okay next review your application and uh, your application contains the following errors okay no error so before you submit this application you have provided a full transcript of your response for you to preview if you need to make changes please do so before you submit okay so you have to download the PDF preview after previewing your application so this is your application after previewing your application you have to uh, if you have uh, if you need to make changes then you uh, do and uh, after that you have to click on declaration then I have read and accept then submit application so your declaration has been submitted for this application and uh, your application has been submitted so this is your reference number so uh, this is the applying procedure if you like this video please subscribe our bright scholarship channel and click the bell icon to get latest updates of our channel